So this is a really quick video that I am making. I'm just going to address a couple things about the Sashley drama and some stuff that's not too related to the Sashley drama, but it is kind of related to the Sashley drama. Uh, if I sound all stuffy, again, I am sick. I mentioned that in my last video. I am still sick. So I am going to uh, address some little mistakes I made in that video and also address uh, something else that is vaguely kind of related to the drama. So, uh, yeah. First of all, there were some screenshots that were faked um, that I am going to just ad address really quick because I do talk about every single screenshot in that video as if they were real, which some of them are not. First of all, the too big to fit in screenshot was not real. Uh, there was no date on that, like there was no date in that screenshot. And uh, you normally, when you're looking at a Discord screenshot, there is some kind of date on it. And the lack of a date means it's very obviously faked. You don't take a Discord screenshot and there's just no date on it. Like, it, there should obviously be a date. But there is no date here, which means that, yeah, it is faked. <laughs> um, now, another screenshot that was faked was the Ash is a minor screenshot. Uh, I have proof that it is faked from, and I, uh, all of these kind of uh, clarifications I actually got from uh, somebody's video, uh, which I, that, the video is, um, that I'm referring to is an amazing video on the situation. I think that anybody who has ever made a video on the situation should watch that video. It has a lot more, it has lots of context, lots of evidence to show that a lot of the shit that Sashley's being accused of doing is either faked, taken out of context, etc., etc. And this person's actually somebody who was in contact with Sashley and actually talked to Sashley and got statements from Sashley. Sashley helped work on the video from what I heard. And so there's so much in there that I think that should be considered. And I think everyone should go check out that video. It will be linked in the description. Um, yeah, so that's two faked screenshots. And there is somebody who uh, I'm actually going to be talking about more later, and I am extremely sorry, but this person's YouTube name is Poopy Butt. <laughs> I'm sorry, I I'm so immature. Uh, so this person, I'm gonna call them PB. Yeah, we're gonna call them PB. Uh, so PB, um, they uh are the person who I think originally made all of the new claims against Sashley. Now, I haven't gone and, like, watched all of the videos um, that PB has made, but it seems like, you know, I think all of that was addressed in, uh, in the video on the situation uh, that was, like, really, really good. Um, What's their name? L Lunari or something? Lunari? I, I can't remember. Hold on, I'm checking. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't remember. Uh, Lunari, yeah, Lunari. So, Lunari's video, I think, addresses everything. Um, though, probably some other time I'll probably go through all that. Uh, and we will be addressing one of their videos. Just because of how absolutely brain dead it is. But, you know, we're, we're saving that for later. Um... So, uh, I don't know if PB was the one who faked the screenshots. Now, I am not going to assume that they did, because they t they probably got it from someone, from someone else. Maybe a friend of theirs, maybe they found it on, like, Discord. And then, I'm sorry for the, I'm sorry for the background noise. Um, they probably got it from someone else, assuming it was real. Um, and I assumed it was real too, so if they assumed that those screenshots were real, I 
don't blame them because I also assumed they were real and if they had no way of confirming whether or not they were real I can't blame them but I can blame them for making the stupidest fucking claims because my video uh that was talking about some of uh PB's claims my video was talking about all those claims as if they like under the assumption that all of those screenshots were real meaning that if this person was under the assumption that every single screenshot that they mentioned was real then they're like <laughs> it's still stupid and the videos are still really just bad all of the claims they made were really bad and some of the ones that had like a little bit of you know justification were taken way out of fucking proportion like um the one about like the the blm uh like the, them talking about blm and stuff and then like stuff like that that shit was taken way out of fucking proportion they could have talked to sashley apparently sashley's dms are opened uh, it seems like they are seeing as somebody who has had contact with sashley you know Lunari, the person who made that video, who is a friend of and has contact with Sashley, implied that Sashley is open to Discord DMs, and if you hit them up in their DMs, they will see it, assuming that those DMs are open to everyone, which uh, is a little scary, because um, I'm somebody who has my DMs open to everyone, uh, I think. Yeah, I think. Um, and as somebody who has my DMs open to everyone, I frequently get people, not as frequently anymore, but I did get people in my, go uh, in my DMs, like, trolling me, uh, being assholes, shit like that, um, overall just being, like, really just terrible, uh, towards me, so I can just imagine how somebody who is currently in the, like, being fucking choked out by drama and also has almost a million subscribers i can just imagine how she is feeling right now probably she's getting fucking death threats in her dms bro um but back on topic um i'm making this video uh, i wasn't going to make this video because i was like uh the video's already out when I say they, I mean Lunari. I was like, Lunari, I hope I'm saying that right, by the way. I'm sorry, Lunari, if I'm saying your name wrong. Um, so, Lunari, Lunari's video has literally says almost everything I want to say and more. Uh, there were some, like, little things that I thought were worded a little bit funny, but, like, it wasn't anything important. Like, the way they were talking about how, like, um, the way they were talking about, like, oh, you don't have the right to forgive them if blah, blah, blah. I, I think that that whole mentality is a little silly. Like I, like, I think it could have been worded better, but that's not really important. So any issue I have with that video is minor and isn't something I'd want to address. There were also some screenshots that were taken heavily out of context. For example, the biggest example that I'll mention right now is the, uh, the N.I. screenshot, where Sashley says N.I., and, well, people uh, screenshotted that clearly out of context to, uh, and this was very obviously something that was done purposefully. Uh, they uh, screen, this person, whoever did it, uh, screenshotted this one message out of context uh, when you can very obviously tell that if you look at just a little bit more of the screenshot, you can see that the NI was actually a typo for no, and it was actually not referring to the N-word in any way. Now, I'm going to be making uh, a little response on um, the extremely fucking bullshit that uh that pb made pb made a video on me where instead of actually addressing the shit i said well they addressed a little bit of it uh mostly what they were trying to do was uh poison the well and make me look like a terrible person based on shit that happened like a year ago that i have already apologized for so 
we're just gonna enjoy that, and I'm sure this may be a little painfully nostalgic for some of you guys, seeing some of these claims, which you have probably only seen uh, from uh, good old TikTok back when, you know, I was frequently on that hell site. Uh, a lot of this is from that, uh, specifically a lot of the claims are claims that this person very obviously leached off of TikTok. I would not be surprised if this person just looked up mushroom girl drama and then leached off of the claims that they saw without actually getting any other context from it. And then some are a little newer, but most of it are very old, very silly claims that I've have not heard in a long time, and are, uh, painfully nostalgic to me. You know, nostalgic in the bad way. Um, so, we are going to be looking at that video now. I am extremely sorry for any of you who are going to be cringing right now at, uh, this person's poor attempt to make me look like the bad guy over really old shit that has only ever been discussed like a year ago on TikTok. So let's just enjoy the cringe and let's enjoy this bullshit because, you know, actually arguing somebody's arguments is so hard. Why don't we just go digging on TikTok for shit to villainize them for, especially when those things are things that they the person who I'm trying to villainize have a potentially apologized for. That's a great thing to do. Basically, uh, this person was, uh, saying, tracing this fat phobia racist on it. You know, kind of like what people did with me. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm biased. Maybe that's why I'm making this video. I might just be biased, but, um, in all seriousness, they're, like, tracing this racist fat phobia on it. Like, it was, like, Sashley's art, and they, like, really horribly traced it. I'll put a, I'll put a picture on the screen. There is two possibilities for the, for what the bullshit you were about to see. First of all, this person saw that somebody made a video actively disagreeing with their video, with their videos, and they decided, hmm, I'm gonna go fucking try and dig up as much dirt as I possibly can and see what I can find on this person so I can make a video villainizing them. Or they were already a part of the Mushroom Girl TikTok drama, and they just happen to also be a fucking idiot when it comes to the Sashley situation as well. So when they heard that their oh-so, the the oh-so terrible person or Mushroom Girl decided to talk about the situation, oh look, I have so much dirt, dirt, quote-unquote, dig, dug up on this person, you know what? Let me make a video discrediting them as a person instead of actually arguing the shit they say. You know, that almost sounds like that's a logical fucking fallacy. This is literally poisoning the well. This is literally an ad hominem. I'm fine with somebody, like, putting, like, you know, poking jabs at people or insulting people in videos, but you usually have to do that accompanying an argument for that to work. Sure, you can call someone an idiot or say that somebody was racist or whatever, but you need to accompany that with an, your actual fucking counterpoint. That's not what you do here. You're straight up making an ad hominem attack and trying to poison the well and be like, yeah, don't listen to this person. I'm gonna show, like, barely any kind of you know, of the actual arguments in here, other than the small ones that I can, that I can easily argue. So I'm just gonna spend the rest of this video showing why they're a disgusting racist person. Like, dude, that's not how this works. This is literally more of a mushroom girl call out than it is a response. That's not how whitewashing works. Every single color in that drawing is lighter because there's a filter put over it. What you are arguing right now is that you are not allowed to put drawing filters on drawings of black people. You are a fucking idiot.
Also, both of those drawings were made a year ago. I know that the latte drawing was made on December 6, 2021, and I know, I don't know the exact date of the poison mushroom one, but I do know it was made, I believe, within the same month. So, um, yeah, this whole, like, oh, they're a disgusting whitewasher, even if it was true, you're taking art from a year ago and using that to show that I still do that now, or still hold whitewashing beliefs now. You cannot say that I'm racist based on shit that happened a year ago unless there's repeated behavior. Now, obviously, that's not actually whitewashing, but under the, you know, under the hypothetical that it is, it still wouldn't prove that I'm racist now in fucking November of 2022. You'd have to ask me about it, ask somebody else if there's any more recent evidence of this, of me doing that, or saying that whitewashing is okay, but they, you don't have that, so you have literally nothing to go off of. I think that the way I worded this screenshot was fucking stupid. I think that me saying aunties are never normal people was fucking stupid of me. But uh, what I really meant was that aunties who make it their entire personality and make hate accounts dedicated to you know, shitting on people, kind of like what you're doing here with your entire account being dedicated to Sashley, obsessed much? I think that those people are not normal and they probably need some kind of fucking mental help or something because if you spend your entire fucking time on the internet just shitting on somebody because you don't like them or you think they're problematic, I think that's fucking pathetic. Also, for fuck's sake, that screenshot was from over a year ago. Get some new material. Dude couldn't even do the bare minimum amount of research and get, you know, new instances of this behavior. Look, I'll do it for you. Posted to Toy House on November 5th this year. Posted to Toy House on November 14th this year. Posted to Toy House on May 2nd this year. Also, to explain the screenshot of me admitting that what I was doing was romanticization. I made an entire video uh, a while back on why romanticization is a very misused word in the art community and why romanticization by itself is not an inherently harmful thing. I would recommend you take a watch. I will link it in the description. But if you're stubborn and you don't want to watch it, basically the gist of what it says is that Romanticization, by definition, is not actually portrayed as anything harmful. It literally just means when you portray something as better than it actually looks in reality, which could be things like promotion, like the promotion of self-harm, but that doesn't automatically mean it has to be promoting something. You can romanticize something without promoting it. If you have ever drawn any kind of dark or Ha a subject that harms people in any way, in any kind of cartoony, non-hyperrealistic style, you have romanticized that subject. That is not harmful. You are not harming anyone by doing that, which is why romanticization is not a harmful thing on its own. Now, promoting certain things like self-harm and shit like that, that is also considered romanticization, but that is a much more severe and different kind of romanticization. Romanticization on its own is not harmful, and I don't like the way people act as if it is. People will say, you romanticize blah blah blah, and I'm like, yeah, good observation, bud, because it's not harmful. You have to prove I'm promoting it for it to actually be harmful. But uh, to answer your question that you're probably having, no, I do not promote self-harm. Self-harm sucks. Don't do it, kids. I do not promote self-harm, nor was I promoting self-harm in any of the screenshots you've shown. I'm gonna actually explain the context of the screenshot because uh, everyone loves to use this specific screenshot to show that I'm, like, a bad person when uh, there was a lot that is behind the scenes of this screenshot and there are many things I need to address about this screenshot. First of all, that screenshot was a joke. I was not planning on doing anything of the sort, and I want to make that very clear. 
This screenshot was a joke. I was pissed off, but I was not actually planning on doing that. Second of all, that screenshot's from a little less than a year ago. Shut up. Now, this person who is mentioned in the screenshot is somebody who you may now know as Blue. Now, this Blue person is... Uh, you may recognize the name if you've watched my Shaggy call-out video. Yes, this is the Blue that uh, started the harassment campaign server against me before Shaggy took over the server. And you can also tell uh, the names EXE and Feon are in there, which are my OCs. I was literally saying that I was gonna draw glow porn of my own OCs. Not this person's, not Blue's, because they're not Blue's OCs. Blue stole the OCs. And if you want to argue that me wanting to draw gore porn of my own OCs is still gross, uh, first of all, it's not your business, who fucking cares? Second of all, I wasn't planning on doing that anyway, so, uh, this is stupid. Oh look, my favorite, out of context screenshots. Now you may be thinking that I was like mocking arson victims or something, uh, in whatever the heck these people were talking about, right? Or maybe I was saying something disrespectful about arson victims or supporting the act of arson. No, I named my OC arson. Yeah, the horror. The fucking horror. We're not trying to cancel you, we're just trying to hold you accountable for your actions. But also, by the way, we're going to see you as irredeemable for the rest of your life because you made a blackface joke when you were 14. By the way, this blackface joke was uh, not racist in the slightest. It was like edgy, but like it wasn't as bad as it sounds. When you hear a blackface joke, you definitely think of something very, you know, you know, very, um, offensive in your head, but it was not as offensive as you're thinking. Uh, basically, I wish I had the screenshot, but, um, basically, somebody, out of spite, decided to draw my OC Adam as a black person, which, like, whatever. Um, but I was upset because I was being, like, attacked and shit, so I just said, OMG, they drew- you drew Adam in blackface as a joke because, you know, it's an originally white character- that was drawn to be black, that was literally all it was. And some people construed it as me drawing blackface. Somebody, so, like, I'm not even joking when I say that there were people who were in the comments saying, MG true blackface, because they, like, I guess misinterpreted what other people were saying. And it was just, it was a fucking mess, which is why I addressed it in this video. Also, I don't remember exactly what video this was for, this was from, but, um, this video was old, and I can tell because the way I talked in this video was fucking cringe. Also, uh, I actually ended up apologizing to the person I made the joke towards, the person who drew the art. I literally fucking apologized to them, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned that somewhere in this video, or some place where I've addressed this situation. So, um, that's fun. It's almost like I apologize and I regret making it. It wasn't racist, but I regret making it. It was stupid, it was edgy, it was unfunny. I regret making the joke. I understand how people could find it offensive, which is why I disagree with it now and have apologized to the person I made the joke to. Hey, yeah, so I made a uh, stupid mistake. I made a joke that was bad. It's almost like in this fucking video, I acknowledge that the joke was stupid and immature of me to do. But apparently this still means I'm a racist, disgusting person because, uh, reasons, I guess. And it was bad, and did I mention that it was a bad joke that I made, and I apologized for it. Yup, there it is, the part where I mentioned that I apologized to the person who, who I made the joke towards, because they were offended by it. I literally apologized to them in DMs. Um, that joke you made was actually really offensive. Really? I didn't know. It's almost like you're literally showing clips of me saying that what I was doing was wrong. Literally, the point of that specific little clip was me trying to say that people 
people didn't need to keep telling me that the joke was offensive because I was aware and I've already apologized for the mistake. Literally, what even is the point of you playing this when I literally said that I apologized, I said that what I did was wrong, and I acknowledged that I knew that the joke was offensive. Oh my god. And this is why I made a poorly worded joke when I was pissed off at somebody who who blackwashed my character out of spite. Blackwashing? Lace spending potato potato who fucking cares why do you care so much about this label i did not draw shit and the fact that you are trying to spread it as if it's true and spread yeah they drew blackface what the fuck oh look here's me clearing up the whole mg drew blackface misinformation why is that being put in the video as if it's bad i was literally clearing up misinformation and if you're gonna say it's not misinformation show proof of your fucking claim i know you can't but uh i think it'd be funny to see you try and show proof of me doing something that i literally did not do i didn't know people don't do it for the purpose yeah so this next point basically boils down to boo hoo you think blackwashing is a thing and is basically just compiling a bunch of uh clips of me talking about blackwashing so uh i'm skipping it because who fucking cares i've literally nothing to say on this that i've that i haven't already said before i've made basically entire videos on this i don't care about your opinion on blackwashing and you don't have to care about mine shut up you literally used a screenshot of somebody saying two letters as a way to say, say that somebody's racist without doing any kind of research on what the context was. Shut the fuck up. You also used multiple fake screenshots in your video. I do not want to hear you talk about how I didn't do enough research when you didn't do jack shit either. <laughs> Okay, first of all, me saying that a pansexual, non-binary person can use the F-slur shouldn't be a hot take. If you think that only gay men can use the F-slur, you're an asshole and I don't like you. The idea that only gay men can use the F-slur is extremely fucking outdated. Please do research. Also, that extremely old screenshot that you used had nothing to do with the F-slur. You are a fucking idiot. Yeah, so, um, that screenshot was actually talking about how people were getting mad at me because I was a queer woman who had too many gay man OCs, which means I was fetishizing. Boo hoo. That was what that screenshot was talking about. It had nothing to do with the F slur. There was literally nothing in there that would give any kind of impression that I was talking about the F slur, and this literally only proves that you are maliciously trying to take screenshots that do not prove what you're saying they prove, and trying to use it to imply that it proves your point when it doesn't. Stop. <coughs> what do bi lesbians have to do with Sashley? Oh my god. <coughs> now, I'm gonna assume that this person, uh, seems to you know, think that the Goat Cato videos were good, or at least somewhat agree with the Goat Cato videos. Now, let me get this straight. You've blamed me for a joke that I made a long time ago. You've blamed me for another joke I've made a long time ago. You've taken art from a long time ago without knowing whether I still continue with this, with the kind of behavior you're trying to show that I am doing. You've just overall taken year old screenshots to try and prove I'm a bad person, but you support Goat Cato, somebody who made videos victim blaming Sashley for being the child in an abusive relationship, said that DDLG was pedophilia, and then also blamed the younger, the quote unquote little party for that, and <laughs> didn't blame the older party, which, like, what? Um, and overall did a lot more stupid fucking shit when they were younger that is related to the older Sashley drama. Uh, Ponder Sprocket made a video on it. It's a great video. I would recommend you watch. Um, 
yeah. So you can support goat cattle, but you can't. But apparently, goat cattle has changed. But I haven't. What? Also, why do I need to know about the goat cattle videos? Why do I need to know about this specific person's video on Sashley? Like, what? Like, dude, I don't even watch Goat Cattle's content. Why do I need to know about specifically their videos? <coughs> Boo-hoo, you had to be subjected to those swear words. I'm so sorry. Also, apparently my voice is nails on a chalkboard, yet you bothered to look through my videos and find clips of me saying bad things. So what, uh, you hate the sound of my voice and you can't even bother listening to me refuting the claims you've made, but you can watch videos to find shit that I've done that is problematic, uwu? Like, what? How does that make sense? <coughs> You literally can't tell that those are fishnet panties. Also, the character isn't even a fucking minor because the Ash is a minor screenshot was faked. But like, seriously, what does that- Like, how does that show that those are fishnet panties? Like, those could literally be panties with a fucking cross-hatching design. <laughs> what do you mean, bare minimum research? I was literally under the impression that there were no re-uploads of the original version of the Gambino meme, and from my memory, I remembered it being only the two letters. But, uh, who fucking cares how many letters? Like, why does that matter? Like, it was still, like, it was still the word. Why does it matter? Why is this something you're trying to pr disprove as opposed to the more serious claims? Oh wait, it's because you didn't actually watch any of my video other than 10 minutes. And you literally just made this video as a mushroom girl call out and not as a video actually trying to refute the claims. Maybe you should do that next time and actually make a video refuting the claims that I've made. <coughs> wow, the only claim you were right on. It's not like you could, you know, have made a video just with that. Because you seem to love making these short videos with literally no point other than, you know, Sashley did bad! So maybe you could make an actual productive video where you actually showed this evidence. Like, it's not that big of a fucking deal anyway. It doesn't disprove my video. It disproves one not very important claim in my video. You're right! But that doesn't mean that my video was invalid just because I got something wrong by memory. Ah <coughs> uh, yes, let's assume that every single anonymous person in the world is automatically white and just ignore the fact that the person who would hypothetically be in this screenshot, because uh, yeah, the screenshot's faked, but let's say it wasn't, uh, yeah, that person could be black and could have every right to say the N-word. And them condoning the use of the N-word isn't a big fucking deal if they're condoning the use of people of color using the N-word. You, who I assume is black, using the N-word is fine, but apparently other black people aren't allowed to use the N-word because that's bad, ooh-woo. Like, you're literally implying that black people aren't allowed to use the slur that is used against them. This is so fucking entitled that you literally use the n-word in the screenshot where you're trying to imply that it doesn't matter the race of the person who said the n-word. Oh my god! Also, how the fuck would she be stereotyping black people? What the fuck are you talking about? Are you actually gonna give an example of an already existing stereotype? No? Well, shut the fuck up. I don't care. Also, if I didn't already make it clear before, yeah, the screenshot's faked, it's not real, so basically everything you have to say about it is, like, not even important because she didn't do what the screenshot shows that she did. <coughs> oh, I do so much research. You mean the research you did when you watched 10 minutes of my video and then used those 10 minutes to claim stuff about my entire video? Like how I defended all of Sashley's actions when you didn't even watch me address all of Sashley's actions? Are you stupid? <coughs> 
these are the types of people who are defending Sashley. And these are the types of people who are trying to shit on Sashley. Oh my god. <coughs> Orange and black hairstyles are not originated from Creepshow Water and are in fact seemingly a very popular thing because uh orange and black go well together for a hairstyle and if you're using a more kind of muted orange for the way you're dyeing it it almost like a br a light brown color it actually works very well with almost any outfit um yeah uh i have a fucking headache so i'm going to go to bed now um i fucking hate this video and i fucking hate I, I fucking hate everything. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. I'm cranky. Fuck you guys. Goodbye.